at Lacrasse is Nahuk AI, a researcher at the Hungarian Academy of Sciences Institute for Nuclear Research in Debris, was looking for this force in rumor dark photons, photons that have mass but can only be detected after decaying into electrons and positrons, the antimatter counterparts of electrons. In January 2016, Gras Znahuk AI published a paper announcing he had found a dark photon by firing protons at lithium-7, which created an unstable beryllium-8 nuclei that then decayed into pairs of electrons and positrons. The particle's mass was 17 mega electron volts, earning it the name 17 MeV. For particle physicists, that would be enough for a eureka moment and a beer. The report received little publicity at the time. So a group of theoretical physicists at the University of California, Irvine, took a closer look at the research and determined that what Grass Znahuk AI may have discovered was not a dark proton but a protophobic exposon. If that sounds familiar, it's a fundamental particle like photons and the recently discovered Higgs boson, the so-called God particle. While the protophobic boson has no deity connections, it's still a big deal. This boson, if it truly exists, couples electrons and neutrons to form a new energy force that Grass Znahuk AI found but considered to be an anomaly. In April 2016, the u curving team published their findings and called it the fifth fundamental force. Of course, this is particle physics so there's bound to be skeptics. The Thomas Jefferson National Accelerator Facility in Virginia is conducting a dark light experiment to search for dark photons with masses of 10 to 100 mega electron volts. It's the perfect place to attempt to recreate Kras Znahuk AI's work on 17 mega electron volt. CERN, home of Higgs boson, will also be conducting studies, as will labs in Rome and Russia. One of them will unsuccessfully try to conclusively prove the existence of the fifth force of nature. So what do you think about this?